Allah is good to us. In this time of darkness, in Islam, Allah lets a light shine. A light for us, so we can be free, physically, emotionally, spiritually, free. <coughs> Imam Ali alayhi salam, he said that the Ahl Bayt are like beacons. <laughs> You have beacons when you are lost. They shine a light and guide you to safety. This is the Ahlul Bayt salam. He told us that the Ahlul Bayt will speak truth to us. So we know where to go. So we know where to put our priorities in this life. The Holy Imam salam, Ali, he said we must run to the Ahlul Bayt like thirsty animals at a watering hole. This reason being because our thirst for knowledge, for love and understanding will be quenched if we put our trust and we understand and respect the Ahlul Bayt. So we go to Kabbalah, we look at this tragic event. There alone in the desert, we have the light of Islam shining through Imam Hussein. We look and see who is Imam. He's the son of Ali, alayhi salam, the son of Fatima al Zahra, alayhi salam. He's the grandson of a holy prophet, Muhammad. Peace be upon him. What a beautiful line! What a beautiful lineage! So much that this is mentioned in the Holy Quran about the Ahlul Bayt. That they are purified by Allah's hand. Who do we have on the other side? We have thousands of soldiers looking for blood, looking to kill our Savior of Islam. What about the lineage of Yazid? Shall we go through his family history? We have Yazid, who even the European scholars would tell you was a drunkard and a liar and a tyrant to his own people. Yazid, son of Mawiyah, another tyrant. Mawiyah, son of Abu Safiyan. And him, the cannibal, are these the people that we should follow? No. No. We must follow the Ahl Bayt. We must follow those who are purified, not self-appointed leaders and tyrants. In history, this is seen 